how to build a Google Analytics dashboard like a boss for your boss. Let's get into it. So what's a dashboard? A dashboard is all about making data accessible. So giving data to people who might not be able to understand all the tons of data that's in Google Analytics. With these steps, you can build an awesome Google Analytics dashboard in under 20 minutes. Step one, choose your audience. So you have to know who you're building this dashboard for. Not everyone needs the same data, right? So your content team might need to know the top content posts that week, the top organic keywords, whereas an exec might need overall site stats and overall demographic data. So know your audience, and build your dashboard accordingly. Next up, identify KPIs. So these are key performance indicators. What does success mean on your website? Hopefully you have Google Analytics goals set up to track whatever's important to your organization. So maybe it's whenever someone signs up for a newsletter or whenever someone views a page that you think is really important. So think about what's important on your website and that's what you'll be putting in your dashboard. Okay, so now that you know who you're building for and what you're gonna include, it's time to build the thing. So, you can build a Google dashboard from scratch, or you can use one of Google's starter dashboards. So this makes it a little bit easier. It includes a couple widgets with some stuff already in there, and you can customize from there. Another thing you can use is the Google Solutions Gallery. So this is a bunch of different dashboards that people have already made and shared with the Google community. So you can browse these for inspiration, or you can just import them when you're adding a new dashboard. You definitely want to customize it to make sure it's in line with your organization's needs. No off-the-shelf dashboard is going to be perfect for what you need, but you can use this as a starting point. So each dashboard can include up to 12 widgets. And each widget is just a graph or a metric or some piece of data. So this is the widget editor. This is where you customize the widget. You can choose whether it's a timeline, a geomap, a table, and you can also add filters. So let's say you only want to be looking at mobile traffic you would make sure to put a mobile filter on this widget. Another cool thing is that you can link to a report or URL so that when you want to dial in deeper, you can just click a link on the widget to see more. One other tip, if you're making a lot of really similar widgets, click the clone widget button and that way you can make the same widget and just tweak it a little bit without having to start from scratch every time. So just remember you can include up to 12 widgets for each dashboard, so choose wisely. Okay, so you chose your audience, you identified your KPIs, you built the dashboard, now it's time to build a feedback loop. This is really important because this is how people stay connected to the data. So you can automate the dashboard by just clicking email at the top of the dashboard, and then you'll see this screen. Here you choose the frequency and the day of the week you want your team to receive the dashboard. So you might set it up to email you weekly, every Monday, and it will attach the dashboard as a PDF to this email. Another thing is you want to make sure you're always comparing this week to last week or this month to last month. The data doesn't really make sense in isolation. It doesn't really have any meaning unless you're actually comparing your performance over time. So another important part of the feedback loop is you want to make sure people are actually reading these emails every week. People might start to tune them out if they look the same all the time. So a couple tips. Try changing up the subject line. Maybe it'll spice things up, keep people engaged. Another one is if you want to be really tricky, try turning off the dashboard automatic email and see if people notice. It's a way to bring it up to your team and make sure that they're really using these dashboards. And last thing, a dashboard is just a starting point. You want to really encourage your staff to dig deeper, ask deeper questions of the data. That's when you know you've really been successful. So that was how to build a dashboard like a boss for your boss. I'm Julie from Whole Whale. Thanks for joining us. Be sure to check out all our other videos and subscribe to our channel for more great vids. Alright, now that you've got